So we have all of these extra eggs, uh, and what happened was we have some chickens. We have 17 chickens, and they are not laying at the moment. Uh, so I went out and, or so I thought. Anyway, I went out and I bought three cartons of eggs. My son bought um, an 18 egg carton, and uh, after all of that, we noticed that the hens are starting to lay. So we have a dozen of their eggs as well. So I think I'm going to make a quiche today. I thought I'd bring you guys along. I'm going to make the Roots and Refuge style quiche um, that Jess taught us to make on one of her videos. So we're starting off with some bacon. So I need five ounces of shredded cheese and I'm choosing mozzarella old because I just really like the sharpness of it as well. So we're going to do that and I will be back. Okay, now she says to pre-bake the oven to 400. I need, now I need five ounces of cheese. There we go. Okay, now she says to cut the bacon up into bite-sized pieces. Next, I'm going to caramelize half of an onion. Apparently, she was saying you have to try to cook down the food to get as much moisture out as possible because you don't want a runny quiche. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw the onions in right after the bacon in the same oil. I find it gives it such a lovely flavor. And you basically just want to cook them down until they're caramelized. With which they look sort of translucent. The oven is ready. Okay, so we're going to put the cheeses in. This is Parmesan, a quarter cup of Parmesan. I wish I had the grated Parmesan that she uses. Uh, we didn't have any on hand, however. Um, this is the cheese, old mozzarella. Jeez, it seems like it wasn't a very deep pie dish, but it did say deep pie dish. So they are surprisingly small. I didn't expect them to be that small. Now we're going to put the bacon on. She says not to have a whole lot of heavy stuff um, in the bottom of the, uh, the pie. However, I'm just following her directions, but this does seem like a lot. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, now for the heavy cream, I am using 35% uh, whipping cream. She said that is the best. Um, in her recipe, she used goat's milk, but I have no goat's milk. So here's the heavy cream. And she says to use four eggs. So I'm using four large eggs. As to whisk them, I'm just going to use an egg beater to do that. Okay, now she didn't add any salt because she said the bacon would be salty enough, so I'm just going to go with that. Fits all in here now. <laughs> 
I tell you, this is looking really good. Oh, that is full. Okay, now I see some air bubbles coming up, and she said that there would be air bubbles, so to pat it down, but geez, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, I guess it's ready to go in the oven, so let's see how it goes. And I like to clean up right away so I don't have to be bothered with it later. There's nothing worse than having a super messy kitchen and having to clean up after a big meal. So that's like pretty much it for the cleanup. I made these canisters a while back. I had uh, gone around and collected pine cones from um, my property. And I just took the pine cones apart. My friend made me some, um, like the wooden square canisters. And I just uh, torched them and stained them. And this one was the first one I made and I painted the inside white, it's for sugar. But it took so long to actually get the white and not have any woods uh, show through that I decided to for the next ones just to leave just to leave it a nice wood color with a um, a bit of burning with a blowtorch and uh, of course some food grade Mod Podge for the inside it's the same as this one as well oh, I thought they were cute I was thinking of doing a craft channel maybe someday because I love doing arts and crafts like this okay so she says to cook it for 15 minutes at 400 and when that's done, we have to lower it to 375. Okay, so now we have to put it for 25 minutes or until the cheese is golden brown. This smells amazing, guys. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a try. Oh, that's good. That's hot, guys. That's really, really good. Well, I'd say it was a, a success. This recipe is a keeper. I think I will be uh, doing a lot more of these because of all the eggs we have and that we're gonna have. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Take care, I'll see you in the next one.